Okay, so Revenge, which is this uh, got a lot of uh, attention, this uh, feature from French writer director Crowley Ferge, um, which is a sort of stylishly bloody shocker, which puts a, a day glow spin on material that you might well think was kind of grindhouse material, although she herself has cited things like Mad Max and Rambo as her revenge inspiration. The story is um, Matilda Lotz is Jen. She's having an affair with a married man who invites her to his remote, this remote desert house, which is all glass and swimming pools. While he's away, she is assaulted by his two buddies and then when he comes home he basically proves to be as much of a pig as them they try to get rid of her but they've underestimated her and uh one of the inspirations that the writer the director has talked about is is kill bill and you do see a lot of that in it because essentially they they try to get rid of this uh, central character and uh, there's a line about why is it that women always think they have to put up a fight and she is essentially left for dead but she comes back from death's door to wreak vengeance. Now, the interesting thing about the film is firstly that, I mean, on the one hand, as soon as you think about that genre of movies, the, the, you know, the icons, that genre of films like I Spit on Your Grave, in which the, the initial assault goes on for most of the movie. And one of the interesting things with Revenge, the initial assault is over, is done very discreetly and is kind of very much not the centre of it. The centre of it is the story about her finding her way back and her becoming this kind of Mad Max warrior figure or like the figure, um, the central figure in, in, in Kill Bill. Um, I think people who are sort of genre fans may sort of look back to movies like Besmoir or maybe even Alexander I's Switchblade Romance, which I think have actually done a lot of the groundwork for this movie. There's a lot of talk about this being, you know, a first, a feminist first, and I, it, it's not, it's, it hasn't arrived ex nihilo. There are definite precedents for it. The opening titles are very, very kind of Gaspar Noé, which again will what take... What does that mean? Well, Gaspar Noé is a, a, a director who has a particular form of a style of filmmaking, very, very sort of aggressive and in your face, but he has this... The way in which the titles appear on the screen, big, bold letters, sort of seems to evoke that whole kind of Gaspar Noe thing of being halfway between exploitation and art house, using exploitation tropes but attempting to do something with them in a kind of art house way, which I think this film does. There's lots of close-ups on rotting apples and an ant crawling over the rotting fruit. There is a scene at the very beginning which looked to me like it was a, like it was referencing Cannibal Holocaust. There's a cave hallucination which looked to me like the, the director had seen and liked Altered States. Um, but the interesting thing about it is it's, there's been a lot of the reviews saying, you know, it's very brutal, it's very bloody. Um, and it is. It's got a, this very, very slick visual style. That at the beginning, everything is, is, is sort of overcranked, really, really bright pastel colours, as if you're kind of in some weird day-glow nightmare. And then as the film progresses, it moves more and more into what we think of as, you know, generic territory in terms of its brutality and its bloodshed, none of which I have a problem with because it's very much at that level when it's so overcranked and it's, it's you know, so operatic that you're really dealing with something which is more to do with the convention than it is to do with uh, with reality. I mean, my I suppose my my question would be, I think it's a really well-made um, revenge film that's got an awful lot of surface done. There's n absolutely no doubt that this writer director has got an, a huge amount of talent, and he's going to you know he's going to go very far. I'm not entirely on board with the idea that what it's doing is completely radical because I think the more you know about genre movies, the more you know that, that a lot of this stuff has been you know unpacked in different ways before this came along. And I'm not entirely sure that it gets much below the surface, but the surface is pretty spectacular. And if you're a gore fan or a horror fan, you're not going to come out of it thinking that you, you know, that it let you down in any way. So it's, it's an interesting take on that, on that genre, it does some interesting things. It's just not quite as radical as perhaps it could have been. But whilst I was watching it, I thought, well, this is really well done. And it's made by somebody who's seen their fair share of horror movies and revenge movies and is doing something interesting with them.